Welcome to Sure Shot Archery. Today we're going to talk about the 64 men that shot at the Rio 2016 Olympics. Uh, we'll be going over their stabilizers. Um, now, if you have any questions on these stabilizers, since I could not afford to buy all of these and try them out myself, check out Lancaster Archery. They probably carry most, if not all, of these, and you can get prices and everything else under the sun. They have you covered. Let's start out with uh, the most popular stabilizer of the Rio Olympics. And that would be Win-Win. Win-Win had 22 stabilizers. That's 34.4% uh, of the total stabilizers. Now, it wasn't just one kind. Um, Weawis was their most popular with 12 stabilizers, but there was also five HMC pluses, four HMC 22s, and one Winact 5. Next up is Easton slash Fuse. Now, Easton and Fuse, I believe, are actually one company. I think it's like a parent and then like a subsidiary company. So, these are going to be Easton and Fuse products. I do separate them so that you can see, you know, how many archers shot what. But uh, in all, there were 15 archers, or 23.4% of the total archers. Um, there were nine Easton contours. There were three Easton Z flexes. Uh, next up with Fuse. Fuse had two Fuse blades and one Fuse taper. In third place, we have Doinker with 10 stabilizers in total for 15.6%. Uh, there were eight Doinker platinum stabilizers and there were two older Doinkers, and that's how they were listed in the data I got from the Olympics, uh, followed by Fivix. Fivix had four stabilizers in total, 6.2%. There were two Fivix CX 2000s, and there were two Fivix CX 1900s. Next up is AS stabilizers. Uh, thank you to the subscriber who let me know that uh, it looks like it should be Arc Systems. And uh, Arc Systems had uh, three stabilizers overall, 4.68%. Uh, there was one shooter with an AS Carbone Pro, and there was one shooter with an AS Prestige. Also, there was a shooter that had a combination of an AS stabilizer and a sole carbon, so we're just counting that into the AS category because I do not know who has a majority there. It's a hybrid deal. Uh, next up, we're going to cover a whole bunch of stabilizer companies that only had two shooters. Uh, if you have two shooters, that means they had 1.3% each, and that would be Ramrods, uh, Arctech Pro XXL, and Bee Stinger. And to finish off the list, we're going to cover four companies that had one stabilizer each for 1.5% apiece. And that would be AAE with the Hot Rods, MK Korea, uh, Biter, and Serto. Now, let's check out what those uh, Olympians that won medals uh, were shooting, and we can't forget the world record was shot at the Olympics for the men's division. So first we're going to start off with Kim Woo Jin with his 700 he shot. Uh, Kim was using a Fivix CS 1900. Now on to the medals. Brady Ellison took third place for the bronze medal and he used a Bee Stinger stabilizer. Followed by second place for the silver, John Charles Valadont with the AS Carbone Pro. And last but certainly not least, for the gold medal, was Kuban Chan using the Wea Wiss stabilizer. As you can see, there's a whole lot of variety in uh, the stabilizer market. Uh, some of the companies that had a majority of the shooters using their product didn't take home a majority of uh, the medals, at least with you know, stabilizers. So it looks like there's a lot of variety to choose from, which is really good because then you can customize 
what you're looking for in a stabilizer. I hope you enjoyed all this information. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy shooting.